Okay guys, welcome to another April update. Again, not really any changes with the terminal. I didn't really get time to the test weeks and I was not really home for a long time. And um, yeah, we have a new model today and I'm really happy to have this model. You have already seen the review of this model. It's another Middle Eastern airline and I'm really happy to have this airline. And yeah, I can confirm if you haven't seen the review model. It's not a Dreamliner, good news. So, um, yeah, starting off with this Gulf Air Boeing 779, which is right now, uh, which is right now preparing to head back to Bahrain for its law. Um, and, and it came to, it came from Bahrain around two hours earlier. This, uh, Gulf Air, um, is starting Dreamliner flash to Manila, which is really surprising in my opinion. I would expect Paris or a more leisure destination before this, but Manila is, is quite a surprise. No often student destination, but I think so Manila is more like the is more like in you know, a Pakistan India flights. Where you not really need any uh, a really great business class. Like oh, like Gulf Air and Airbus is pretty to Peshawar and Islamabad. And I think so Manila was a perfect destination for these thirties. So yeah. Next up we have a Saudi Boeing seven seven nine preparing for its flight to Jeddah. I came from Jeddah around four hours earlier and today it departure flight delayed because of some because it missed its it missed its slot departure slot because of some missing passengers and right now it's uh, an hour delayed. It will be departing soon. And right now it's just waiting for some bags to be loaded. Next up we have the Emirates Airways facility which just came in from Dubai. This is in the special Euro Z colors and it's and it'll be preparing to um, it'll be preparing to depart for Dubai in two hours. Really sad to see that the Euro Z will soon be removed. I hope that they make it a permanent delivery, but I have high doubt that. Here we have an empty date, but we soon be following with our new arrival. Here we have the Qatar Air with Airbus H51000. Right now, I'm just there arresting at, uh, at, Lon at London after, um, before its departure to Doha in, in two hours. It came from Doha an hour, an hour ago. Qatar Airways actually has a new H51000 coming in the One World Colors. Please Phoenix release this in, in the November release because I really need it. Please. Sorry, not in the November release, the December release. Or the November release. I'm, I'm confused right now. Next up, we have our new model. Yes, here we go. The Oman Air Air 200 taxiing after its inaugural flight from Muscat. And it started receiving a water cancel route. Just imagine that there's water going around. And Oman is really proud of this flight as they only upward dream managed to London Heathrow. And this is the third flight in London with the Air 200. This flight only has a two class layout instead of the three class layout they have on the London flights. But, but nonetheless, this is a very special flight for them as it's a new capacity change for London. Even though I could have bought a Dreamland, but I bought this 30 because I believe if, if Oman it comes to my airport, it will be mostly 2 class. And the 2 class 30s are operating most of the European routes, except except Geneva and uh, London and Manchester, obviously. So, really happy with this model. Really happy with this purchase. I think so, it's really going to be a better addition. So um, yeah, that's it for the April update. Hope you guys enjoyed and thanks for watching. Is there are more videos coming up? This is our week.